Ice Caps 360 from Rochester, New York. And here's David Brohl of the St. John's Ice Caps. Brohler, what an amazing stat, my friend. Six pro goals, three with the Toronto Marlies, two with the Syracuse Crunch, one on Tuesday in Binghamton with the St. John's Ice Caps, all game winners. What is your secret? It's not an amazing stat, only having six goals in four years, but uh, it's good to the game winners, yeah. I don't know, no secret, just get out there at the right time. Once or twice a year, you know, and there you go, get the game winner. Well, you're having an awful lot of fun with this hockey club, and what a great addition you've been. This must be pleasing for you to come in and uh, and have a role with this team, not not just as an enforcer, but a really reliable player, fun guy on the bus, fun guy in the room, and out there taking care of your teammates at the same time. Yeah, oh, it's awesome here, as I said. I like the two-week road trips, kind of check a couple cities out, upstate New York mostly, but uh, no, it's fun. You guys, uh, keep it light here. It's good. Um, when, we, when we go to the games, we know what we have to do. But other than that, it's great having dinner on the road with the guys, cracking jokes all the time. They're always giving me a hard time, too. It's not just me giving it out. But, yeah, these guys are awesome. Love these guys. But this is really familiar territory for you here in Rochester and not far from Buffalo, back and forth over the Peace Bridge, I'm sure, a number of times, in through Fort Erie with the Marlies and, and with Syracuse. So it's like you know the lay of the land here pretty good. Yeah, I've been in this my fourth year in this division. So I've played in... Uh, all these cities a fair bit over the last couple of years, so no, it's good. It's uh, this is the American Hockey League right here. This is the jungle, so it's uh, all these upstate New York teams. You, you hit them all, and it's and then you go back to the Rock, or that's where we uh, we do our damage. There you go. How much fun are you having in St. John's, Dave? Awesome. I'm living with two goofballs, Brett Lernu and uh, the Big Mac uh, McCarran. No, it's awesome. The fans are great there. We get treated well. Uh, got the best equipment manager in the league right there over there. And, Oh, there he is. Yeah, so everything's going good. Oh, a well, I, I need I'll, sticks, yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric, you get that? He needs sticks. Brawler needs more. You know, the le lethal weapon was six pro goals and all game winning goals as well. I had to run that in again because I think it's a great stat. Uh, you know, the beauty of it is after this trip, and you don't want to look too far ahead because you get a game on Friday here in Rochester, then back to back in Toronto against your former team, the Marlies, is that you go home for an eight game homestand. Yeah. That's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that's big. I I think as we, we found our game pretty early on at home, and it's good to, to see once we're at home, we, there's a comfort zone that uh, with, with the fans behind us, we're having home cooked meals. You know, it's it's a little bit better. But uh, as I said, these these games on the road are huge. Even early on, you can't look past any teams in the standings because anybody can beat anybody in this league, and we know that. So. Uh, yeah, we got a couple games here, a couple big games here against division teams, and we go back home and uh, hopefully we can do some damage there. Well, you guys played a solid hockey game in, in Binghamton on Tuesday, a big win for the team to stop a three-game skid, and I know you don't want too many more lows, but you guys look complete. Uh, all four lines, even with some big guns recalled to Montreal. Yeah, no, it was good. Some guys uh, got in the lineup, got to step up, and it's good to see as if guys go up, there's opportunity for guys to come in, maybe get on the power play, get on the penalty kill. Uh, so it's good, even if we have a full lineup or depleted lineup, it's, it's good to see that uh, a struggling Binghamton team that we come in, that we get on them right away because we know they still play hard, even though their their standings are not they're not there where they want to be right now. But uh, no, it's good. We played a really uh, really good game, full 60, and everyone was happy. Now we got to bring it into Friday. And uh, this goofy old broadcaster uh, had a bit of a brain fart on the air. Uh, not Stefan Matteau, but Stefan LeBeau oh. puts a puck through the mesh. Have you ever seen that before? I don't think I have. I've seen it through the mesh and rip, but I heard there wasn't even a rip there. He just went right through. You know, these guys are using bower sticks, though. Eh? <laughs> Ricky gives me uh, CCM sticks, so I can't do that through the net. So these guys are using bowers. It's a disadvantage. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, it was a huge goal. It was the game winner the other night. Thanks for joining us on Ice Caps 360. Just an absolute delight to have you part of this hockey club. Okay, thanks, Raj. Appreciate it. Take it easy. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Polar.